Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Hey, Nick Collier here, and uh, today we've got a little mini project. Uh, it's actually big, a part of the bigger project, but uh, um, what's happening, and we'll come over here. I'm going to swing you around a little bit. And you can see we're, we're getting ready to cut a gear on uh, on the uh, on the divider head, and I've got it centered on both centers, and my lathe dog won't reach. So, and I have tried and tried. I've got you know half a dozen lathe dogs, and not one of them is going to work in this situation. So what I have to do is I have to make a new lathe dog, and also I have to make one that actually is going to clamp to the uh, the chuck of the jaw. The jaw of the chuck <laughs> and uh, so that it doesn't wiggle back and forth at all while I'm cutting uh, the the teeth of the gear so um, we're gonna make a new leg dog and uh, stick with me we're gonna have some fun and since we're here and since we're doing it uh, we may as well make it so that we can have a bigger hole than that in in the dog itself so uh, I'm start I'm gonna start with a pretty heavy duty piece of material here we're gonna take that sucker up now we're just gonna drill it to this size hole but we'll make it big enough that we can actually drill it to a bigger hole if we need to at a later date so uh, we're gonna take about a oh I don't know three quarters of an inch off of this plug and uh, and we'll start with that we'll be back all right, well, we're going to take a little bit more than three quarters. That looks like about an inch and an eighth or maybe an inch and a quarter even. But uh, that'll give us a good start. We'll be able to square up the edge or square up the, the uh, ends and, uh, and go from there. So uh, we're going to let this finish out and we'll fast forward this so you don't have to hang out with the saw. And so we're going to want to cut this hole a little bit off center so we have a little bit of an extra room so when we put our, uh, our um, lock bolt hole thread in, uh, it will uh, have a bit of meat to work from. So we're going to drop this in the four jaw. Let's close this up a little bit. There we go. Let's see how that's going to spin out. That's just about right, actually. Uh, let's let's uh, put a little center hole in there and see how it kind of plays here. Okay, let's give that a try. Yeah, that looks a little better. We we can uh, bore this hole out to hell almost an inch hole. So let's uh, give that a spin and see what this is. Let's go ahead and it. That's a little better. Tighten everybody up. ourselves a little center hole started so now what we need to do is get uh, get a drill bit in here and start drilling
Okay, the first part of our dog is set. Uh, we still need to drill a hole in the top here and then also set up our, uh, our arm for the dog. But for the moment, uh, it's uh, hot and uh, we're going to let it rest. Okay, and because uh, the mill is being used, we're going to go to the old drill press and uh, drill ourselves a hole with that. But first what I have to do is uh, come up with a uh, drill bit that's going to... Oh, first I have to come up with a bolt, then a drill bit, and then uh, a tap. So I'll be back. Okay, and so since this is kind of a fake-it sort of uh, operation here, we can pretty much just put that, that bit anywhere we need to, as long as it's reasonably centered. And it is. Now we'll take it over the vise and uh, thread, uh, put threads in that hole and uh, we'll be set to go, at least for that part of it. All right, we got our tap. We're set to go. We'll run that baby into the hole. Okay, so we got our basic uh, design here. There's our bolt going in. And that should go all the way down to the bottom. So now what we'll do is come in and build our frame in order to uh, get this thing to function. We'll be right back. Okay, so we need two about six inch long by half inch by one inch pieces of uh, metal. So as you can see, I am using uh, this, uh, what is it, about a one by six uh, piece of bar stock. We're going to cut off little slices off the end. So I need two of those and uh, we'll just kind of crank along here until we get to the end and uh, I'll see you then. Okay, well, our, our plug of steel is a little too long, so I'm going to trim it off right there on the little Harbor Freight saw, which is almost worn out. Oops, a little bit long. A little bit short. Okay, so we've got our two pieces. Um, what did I do with the other one? There it is. They, uh, they're going to go kind of like this on either side of this, the chuck of the, uh, of the jaws of the chuck. It looks like, yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to bring that in and we're going to clamp that. Let me go get a clamp. Oh, wait a second. I've got to go. Uh, there's pretty sharp edges there, so I'm going to go grind those down a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're all set up here, except I didn't put a piece of paper in between one of those clamps. Because otherwise, once I weld this, that'll be so tight that I won't be able to get it in there. And so we need to drag this out just a little bit. 
and of course it's going to be shaky at best but I think we can get a little piece of paper in there and then readjust everybody Let's back down that's pretty good get this out where it wants to be get it down same with this one Let's see what this whole thing looks like spun around a little bit. Uh, we need to get this one up just a little bit. Come on. That looks good. Bring this back. Well, no, it doesn't look good. Yeah, that's reasonable. Let's bring this back. Get this other one in place. Ah. That looks good. That looks good. Everybody seems to be pretty squared up. So now what we want to do is we're going to come in and just throw a bead right across there. But before we do that, we need to protect all of this stuff. So, uh, we're going to come in and build something that's going to give us uh, give us that protection. I'll be back. Okay, it took a while to get this thing protected, but we've got it. And uh, now that I think of it, uh, maybe we want to protect the upper part too. Let me get another piece of plywood. Here. Okay. Now it's protected. Let's throw a bead on that and call it a day. All right, so far we've got a lathe dog that looks, oh, I'd say Starship Enterprise. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, not too bad. Uh, we're going to put this back on the mill and figure out where. But we, what we want to do first is we want to drill a hole in here and put a bolt all the way through this and, so that we can clamp up to that uh, the chuck uh, uh, jaw. And that way we have a solid, firm connection. So uh, let's put it back on the mill and see what we can do. All right, so we've got it back on. Uh, let's get you pointed correctly here. we got it back on, and there's a little bit... Oh, hang on here. we got just a little bit of play here, which is fine. Oops, tighter. There we go. Actually, there's no play at all. It kind of had a bit of a taper to it. So, uh, it's pretty tight. I think we're just going to leave it like that. And see where that leads us. Okay, so as far as I can tell, we're all set to go. Okay, here's our laid dog in place. It's uh, 
it's done very well we've cut uh, oh I don't know uh, half or three quarters of uh, of the teeth we need to cut of course we have other cuts to make on that but we won't even worry about that right now so uh, this is Nick Collier here uh, you know it proves that uh, with a um, oh I don't know an hour's worth of time and a little ingenuity uh, you know just about any tool can be made <laughs> well you know except for bridge ports and lathes and things like that they take a little bit more time but ingenuity is the case here and uh, hey it's been a fun project say hey, subscribe we have a good time here and uh, this is Nick Collier over and out